Welcome to my $10 weekly food budget challenge series and this week I'm going to Walmart. I'm headed to Walmart to see if it's still possible to eat for $10 for a week of food during a time of hoarding, shortages, and general unpredictability. So let's see how it goes. The only items from home I'm using are salt and baking powder. Everything else comes from this week's Walmart shopping haul. I'm going to start in the frozen section and head to meet in another minute to see if there's anything that's been marked down for a really good price since I'm here very early this morning. Now I do see in frozen vegetables, some of the shelves have been shopped bare. But I do see broccoli florets, which is one of my favorite vegetables, and they've been uh, priced at a dollar a bag, which I think is a really good deal. So I'm going to go ahead and get two of these bags. At 12 ounces per bag, that is a decent size and it should be able to feed me for about seven nights between the two bags. So let's stick these into the cart and head to the next section which is rice and beans. I was going to get like one or the other at least but uh, it looks like um, these shelves are sold out for some of these items. Not only like the two and three dollar items but there is a bag of beans on the lower right that was a dollar that is sold out as well as a 64 cent bag of rice well that means i have to go to a different section to come up with another idea for menu variation so what i'm going to do is go into this refrigerator and get a tub of sour cream for a dollar, another great price. And uh, this tub of sour cream is about 16 ounces, so that's a full pound. So when you're only shopping with $10, one of the things you have to do is maximize the amount of calories you get. So getting items with like full fat, uh, make sure that those calories are as high as you can get them. All right. Now, the next thing is the meat section. Not only was um, the meat sold out, but there was nothing really uh, cheap or marked down. But this bread section, this bakery section right here, the marked down stuff, who can come to Walmart and not go to this section? But these muffins were too rich for my blood this week, as well as these croissants, because there's six of them in there, and I need a lot more than six servings. Now, I see these breads here, and this is where I get excited. 75 cents for a pre-sliced loaf of French bread. Yes, please, I'm taking that. Let's see how cheap I can get in pasta. Again, some of the shelves have some uh, items that have been shopped out. I see this two pound box of spaghetti at $1.43, four and a half cents an ounce. And even better is 3.9 cents an ounce, a three pound box of spaghetti for $1.87. I'm going to grab one of those, stick it in the cart, and I uh, feel like I'm getting away with something like a bandit here uh, because I think these are good prices. Now this egg aisle, this was just I mean, this was decimated by shoppers. People really bought these eggs out. Um, but I still want to get a few. I'm not going to get a whole dozen. I know I do get a lot of eggs in my shopping challenges because I think they're a great source of protein and fats. But I'm going to get this uh, six pack. Now I'm going to reach all the way to the back here to uh, get that pack and hopefully I don't break anything in the process. 45 cents for six eggs. You know, I really like it when the prices are under a dollar because it makes me feel like my money stretches a lot further. Okay, cheese. Don't make me live without cheese. Even though I'm only living on $10 this week, don't make me live without cheese. And it's $1.98 a bag for an eight ounce bag. So let's grab one of these.
I'm looking for like a tangy flavor to even out that sour cream and cheese taste. So let's see what I can find. There is limeade concentrate. There's different kinds of orange juice concentrates. $1.23. Let's see how low I can go. There's $1.18. What else do we have here? I see something for a dollar, which is perfect. So let's see what this is. It is an orange juice drink, which will be perfectly satisfying. That is added to the cart. Now, when I um, count these items up, I see that I'm going to be kind of limited in the rest of the items I can buy. So I think I'm going to put one of them back for this bag of all-purpose flour. Now, I really do want whole wheat flour. That's what I like to use in general for most of my recipes, but I just don't see it. And during times like this, I kind of have to go for what I can find. And the good thing about this is there's a lot of calories in each bag, 75 times uh, 110 calories. That's a lot of calories that will um, keep me fed. So this flour is going to take the place of that pasta. And I think actually what I'm going to do here to make this stretch even further, I think I'm going to have to get rid of this bread because with the flour, I can actually make um, these types of products at home. I can make, you know, pasta at home and some kind of bread product. So the pasta and the bread is gone, replaced by a cheaper bag of flour. I'm at $7.61 right now, so I'm going to see if I can just add some kind of meat product to the cart. And I do see this uh, chorizo product, which I've had in the past, this beef chorizo, and it's always low priced. Um, it was $1.24 for the tube, and I know just what I'm going to do with it. And I found this margarine as well, uh, this pound of margarine quarters, that was 84 cents. I know this does not look like a lot of food, but I am going to make it last for me for seven days. And I think I have about 30 cents left. So that means I have to look for something in the store under that price uh, that will fit into my menu for the week. And what I found was this eight ounce can of tomato sauce for 27 cents. So that's basically a cup of tomato sauce. And I figured out something that I want to make with it. So that is going into the cart. And um, these other items here are too rich for my blood too. 40 cents, 92 cents. Well, I just can't afford it. This is a $10 budget and I've got to try my best to stick as close as I can to it. So uh, with all of these items in the cart, that is it for my purchases for this week. So let's go to the checkout and see exactly how much this is going to cost. And I'm going to go to uh, the self-checkout. I find these cash registers to be very flashy, sort of like uh, casino slot machines. Well, my total came to 10.03 actually, and I'm going to find out why. It sounds slightly off, but you know, that's the best I could do. I'm not putting anything back. So I'm three cents over budget. I guess that's not too bad. I found out it was actually due to tax on the juice concentrate, which had some sugar added to it. Well, despite some of the items I wanted having been sold out, I am, you know, happy with what I could get. And I'm going to show you what I make with the foods coming up next. Let's get this on the biscuits. This is my breakfast for six out of seven days. 
It is two chorizo sausage and scrambled egg biscuit sandwiches. And on the seventh day, I am having two biscuits with some margin on it because I will be out of the egg and chorizo sausage. I'm also going to be having some of my orange juice drink with breakfast each morning. Bottoms up. I made here a pizza crust from flour, baking powder, uh, melted margarine. Of course I have the recipe below the video. I just hate using a rolling pin. So I pressed this the whole ball of dough into this cookie sheet. Alright everyone, here is my broke gal pizza fresh from the oven. All you need is a few dollars for the ingredients and a little bit of time to make the dough. Here is my pizza, my three slices that I get to eat each day and I'm about to tear into this because I'm really hungry. Guys, that is so good. Now, I can't. I can barely tell that that's not yeast dough. If you have toppings and herbs and spices, hey, it only gets better from here, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. I will see you for dinner. These are some noodles that I freshly made for tonight's pasta dinner, and I'm just going to throw them right into the boiling water. They don't need to be dried. This is dinner this week. It is my handmade pasta with a sour cream sauce topped with broccoli. The sour cream sauce is basically about a teaspoon of margarine, a quarter cup of sour cream, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And it doesn't sound like much, but it does taste really good. A little bit of pasta. and some cream sauce. There we go. Mm -hmm. Well, that is what I ate for the week, folks. And it was filling. I would have liked to have a few more herbs and spices on there, but I stayed true to the challenge. And uh, that's what I like about these challenges is just I, I never know what I'm going to be able to buy and put together. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope in some way it's also useful to you uh, during these difficult times. As for my experience at the store, at Walmart, uh, I noticed about 50% of people were wearing masks, nobody was wearing gloves, and I wore a mask and gloves. A lot of people weren't social distancing, but I think that's just kind of out of habit. Um, just how we interact as a society of human beings on a normal basis. I did try to social distance when I remembered it, but I've got to be honest, it is easy to forget. But um, anyway, it was still enjoyable. I hadn't been out to a supermarket since my Kroger video, and so <laughs> it was kind of a, an odd like sci-fi type of experience going out and seeing all these people in masks and even seeing myself. So. Um, I plan to do more of these budget challenges now that I've gotten into the habit of going back to the store. And uh, I'm going to try to do uh, variations. But I did want to do this one $10 for Walmart again because that was my very first challenge video was uh, how to eat for $10 a week. So it was kind of just revisiting it. I hope to read your comments and questions below the video. And the, any recipes that I had in the video are also uh, below. So please let me know what you thought. You guys are always in my thoughts and prayers. And I really enjoy uh, having you as subscribers and viewers. So I will talk to you and see you soon. Bye for now.